What's up? So I'm gonna review these shoes. Ask the ladies are from Shoe Sensation. They're around a hundred bucks usually. They're nines. So that's nine and a half, but I'm a nine. But these are around usually a hundred bucks. So you can see they have a good arch support, and the shoes I bought apparently were not good enough. And I'm not always the best at figuring these. I'm mentally handicapped, so. Things are harder than normal to do things, and guidance is always needed, regardless. So, the art support is working. I've been on them for at least a couple hours, as you know, and I'm on my feet at least 11 to 12 hours a day, quite literally, not including the lunch. That lunch is like 40 minutes off my feet, because I'm on my feet 20 minutes or more, depending. Sometimes less, I'm on my feet less, but, you know, I'm off tomorrow, I... We've been to Walmart. We've been getting things for the season. They actually paid for these shoes. My parents did. They had about two of them together. My dad's and mine was like 50 bucks. They were clearance. They are, they're, they're actually not made anymore, I don't think. I looked them online on my iPhone the last couple of hours. And they're doctor, they're doctor approved. They got carbon imported black. That's the style. It's a gel. It's one of those large width because I got large feet. And it's needed. I got the wrong ones, of course, buying my first pair there. But it's a lesson to be learned by nine and a half from now on. That includes the boots and everything else I just bought for the last seven years with tens and and size and technically don't need because they measure my feet. My mom did. It's like you're technically at nine, but bump up to a nine and a half just in case for extra room but yeah here they are they look nice they feel better than before because i i since i was young and i actually injured my foot and my mom has the same exact issue she has bad feet so yes it has a bad right foot apparently my feet are both like that now since i apparently injured my feet and luckily did not have a bleed with hemophilia on the first day of the month of this year, you know, the first day of the month, my birthday, and it was crazy. And the, f the shoes feel a lot better. I did have that, where they call it, where you have that pain underneath the arch. And it was really bad about 15 years ago. I always had to wear special shoes like this that are usually around 100 bucks. These are actually more expensive than the ones I worn before. I usually wear around $80 in the past with Nike, but... These are more like um, car pusher kind of work. Being outside on your feet all day, pushing carts. And these soles will be worn out before I know it, so that's the bad thing. I know a car pusher used to push, he's retired of course, but he used to push about two of the 400 carts an hour. Just constantly, kind of like I do. And shoes like these will not last, I'm afraid. I'm worried about it because they're not going to last. Because I'm putting so much pressure on them and going in and out of the store and then on lunch and then going back directly to carts with the asphalt and walking on concrete and having at least 100 pounds of carts you're pushing into the store up to 10 or more. And it's big. It puts a lot of pressure on your feet as well as... It wears them down. Shoes like this may not last. So that's the thing about car pushing is it's more expensive, I'm afraid, because we we go through them quicker. And <laughs> just how i always been. I mean, I worn these things out before I know it. You know, if I actually showed you, I might actually leave the camera here. I'm going to go get the shoes out and see if I don't know last. Alright, I got the cheap Walmart. Here, see this? This is after less than a month. That tear on there, and that where it came right off. These are the cheap New Balance or the Athletes. Memory foam. I can't wear them without our support, of course, but these are the similar to these over here on my feet right now. So... They're not going to make it. I might get them two weeks and I'll start showing these signs. So, yeah, that's what 
threads you put on your feet. And you can tell by that how it looks like it's going downwards. Like I usually wear the thicker ones every now and then that are really thick, like a quarter of an inch, that's what he did. But the inch or so and they don't usually last, you know, just how it is. We push carts. We're constantly putting pressure, rubbing against those rubber soles, and they go out quick, I tell you. You can buy 50 bucks or 100 bucks of shoes a month, and they won't last. So, yeah, it's, it's quite expensive in shoes. As I think it might be the most expensive part of working on Vegas. You wear, the, you wear these things out within weeks. So... It's easily done. If you're a car pusher, buy better shoes. These may not last. Because I know how much I push. And it is like each minute I'm pushing them more and more. Quicker and quicker. And, you know, and just getting more in and carry outs. Massive carry outs where you have at least 10 cases of water on an L cart going outwards. And loading those. And it just puts a lot of strain on your muscles, your joints, your feed and everything and these will help I know that we were, we were going to try one that's similar to it but I noticed mainly that the arch support was not good enough it would not support the load of my arch and how fallen it is it just gets sore every now and then but I usually had pain so bad it felt like needles on my arch on the bottom of my left foot every time I step on my feet that's bad that is really bad but it hasn't been that ba as bad. It's been like a mild one or two. Not really an old spot. I got my feet a while. The pain goes away for a little bit. Not for long because I weigh so much. But if I can get down to 160 maybe. I might have better luck. I may be able to get off our support. But the more you're on your feet. The flyer they get basically. So technically you need to keep these. Keep buying them apparently because they don't have a they're wide but you know Vietnam but they were on sale and they have clearances up 70 to 80 percent off shoes which helps a lot because they used to lease maybe 150 dollars I think online it says 150 bucks for one of these I think some of these that's really expensive and considering we got two for 50 bucks total not including tax and all that. I heard our state's trying to do a rain tax. So every time it rains around your area, you get taxed. It's like that's the thing I brought in the video just now. It's like we're aware of. I am heard about it, but it's probably a joke. It fool's joke until we find out. But, you know, it fool's just a couple of days away. I got to find a way to prank the co-workers without getting in trouble, of course. But... I'll figure out something at least tomorrow or tonight to pull their leg when they don't know it. I'll tell you one thing, if you're really good and you're able to print one of those fake checks, write your name backward, write it full backward and put a blank through it, you know, where they don't actually see the lettering. Unless they're underneath the light and they'll see it as April Fool's. I did that one time. She never got me back for it, but it was approved, so I, I never got in trouble. I, nothing happened to me, so I was good. Only because it was April Fool's Day. day April Fool's Day, I mean. And Easter landed on that day, too, last year, so. Uh, we don't April Fool on Easter, that's for sure. So, yeah, I gotta get candy, I guess, for my sister Anna. It's still a couple weeks away. It's the 20th of. April and I gotta work next Saturday, I believe, but only because the guy actually had a day off rested, so I had to work that Saturday until like eight or so at night. So they are cutting back in a way like that to try to save money, but and just how they are. I mean, these it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what kind of shoe. I even have parts where this completely messes up right here after a while or a month or two. But these won't last you any bit at a time. Just how it is, you know. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment below and like. It helps me a lot. 
I am doing better than I ever have been. I mean, my allergies have gone down a lot. This is technically not my... This is the only season that gives me trouble, and my allergies are not even bugging me right now. It's how weak they are. And I know Tammy sees co-worker. She's, like, older than me, of course, but her allergies are worse this time. She's sneezing and all that, but morning knows, but that's what I used to have about nine, eight years ago, and just in the recent years has gone down quite a bit, luckily, and I still take the medicine just in case, because these can flare up, like, always, if you don't, if you get too exposed, your body thinks it's more harmful, then you get worse again, so it may not be a good thing to get off your allergy medicine, even if you don't have them that bad. I mean, if you run out, that's fine. You know, for a day or two. But keeping them in, make sure your body doesn't build that immunity back up to the pond or wherever else you were allergic to at the time before it went away. So, you know, that's how it is. I take Allegra. It's not cheap, but it works. It does, it does a fantastic job. I didn't really notice much of a difference with the gel types considering I still sneeze every now and then, but that's just because of the nose and all, but, you know, it's doing better. The teeth definitely need to be worked on. That's probably in the summer, and we got a couple things we got to do in the house soon. We're going to try to now a TV in the kitchen. Um, the only downside is it's not a smart TV because they didn't want me to have a smart one back then. It's a small 32-inch Vizio. It's like a 720, 720p or 8 full HD. PS4, I could play it on the full, on full HD, 1080p. So, we had to get a smart device. Took up to it, then there's some cheap ones for 1080p. That does all, it's only what it needs. I just hook it up there with the surge protector and mount it. It should be fine. Have the internet going through, or we can actually run it with antennas and you just pick up better channels. Over there, you don't have to pay for nothing. If your ear goes out, you're still good. And news for weather may not be as good on over the air broadcasts, but we do have one. I was watching the TV just in the last couple of hours. It's a little bit flickery. It's losing some quality with the rain, but it's what we ch my parents chose to put in there. 75 mile and 10, that's what it is. It was a good deal from Menards, but I would put a better one in if I could afford it. And they would allow me, well, at least 100 mile, but I mean, this depends. You know, he's, he's trying to get one that to work too, but cut the cable. It's expensive, but I don't watch cable, so it'd be a waste for me. I don't even play the game console that much, I'll tell you the truth. I'm more on music and things like that, and funny videos that will make you cringe like you can't believe, and funny commercials from the 90s just crack me up and make me feel good, considering I'm always had depression, but you know, you know, you feel funny like that, it'll get rid of it pretty quick usually, and I usually get cramps because how bad I laugh. You know, there'd be videos where they take off the shoes and it's like, <laughs> um, they'll go, oh, sorry, start going down and all that. It's like, that makes me laugh the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, there's some humor in, in the air, I say, and in my family, by the way, so. That's the thing about the family history. We do have some humor in both sides of the family. <laughs> but uh, I'll see. See ya.